3, 2, 1. Every day we're told to stay home and only go out for essential items like food or groceries. But how do you shop for two whole weeks if you've never done it like that before? We're on your side with that information tonight. Joining us now is Aaron Good, a dietitian for High V. And Aaron, thanks for joining us. Hey, thanks for having me. Absolutely. So we are told to limit our trips to the grocery store to one person and shop every week and a half or two weeks. I, I shop like three times a week, so this is a tough one for me. What kind of recommendations do you have for what we should be having on our list when we're trying to shop that way? Most definitely. So there's so many changes going on with COVID-19. And the first thing is trying to go to the grocery store less. And then when you do go, trying to buy foods that will last longer. So that can be definitely a challenge. But the first thing I would say to do is to take inventory of your freezer, your fridge, and your pantry and do what's called a condiment check. So first off, make sure you have enough ketchup, mustard, uh, mayonnaise, so you can make the chicken and tuna salad, a jar of spaghetti sauce, salsa, and then one of my personal favorites is actually chia seeds. I'm calling this my quarantine BFF because each tablespoon of chia seeds provides about five grams of fiber, and fiber is going to keep you full and help keep your blood sugar more stable. So add this to your grocery list. It's a good essential to have to help keep you full. As far as the produce foods go, I would say your apples, your oranges, and your pears would actually be your three best fruit options. And then as far as vegetables go, we're definitely in the season for asparagus. So here I have my asparagus. You actually store it the way you would a fresh flower bouquet. So you just cut off about one inch off the ends and then store it in a glass with a little bit of water at the bottom. This will keep your asparagus fresh a week longer. So oh. that's a great vegetable to keep on hand. Another good option would be something like spaghetti squash, butternut squash, or acorn squash. When these are stored in your pantry in a cool, dark place, these would last two to six months. So this would be a good option to keep on hand. Um, spaghetti squash is great with your spaghetti and then ground beef, ground turkey, and some spaghetti sauce. That's, so those are Th those are great recommendations. I eat a lot of meat and a lot of vegetables. I focus on a lot of that. I don't have quite as much stuff up in my cupboard that would last a long time. If I want to freeze stuff, I know I can freeze the meats. I can even freeze. I eat frozen vegetables too. But what are your recommendations for freezing if you just want to buy more perishables and make it last longer? Definitely. I would stock up on your frozen vegetables. I would um, stock up on chicken breasts, ground beef, um, even, you know, a good whole wheat bread would freeze very well. Um, so keep those on the hand. That way you have the essentials. And then make sure you have a few fun foods on hand, but don't go overboard because then we're more likely to just eat those, you know, <laughs> go to the fresh fruits, vegetables, that kind of oh, stuff. Oh, I know. I could eat Cap'n Crunch all day, just like uh, most of the kids, too. What about a list? How important is the list when you go and not falling off and making those impulse buys that might not work so well once you get them home? Yeah, so studies actually say you're 40% more likely to buy excess when you go without a list or when you go in the grocery store hungry. So really trying to stick to that list and have a game plan. And even if you know your high V store layout, trying to make that list, you know, in order so that you go and buy all the dairy foods at the same time, because there's nothing worse than forgetting the eggs and then having to go retrace your steps and make, you know, extra contacts with others than you don't need. All right. Well, great advice, Aaron. I, as much as I love to shop and my frequent shopping, small shopping trips, uh, this is this is great advice and important in the times that we are living right now. Aaron Good with High V. Thanks so much for joining us today. Thank you, guys.